Ramble. Thank you to DoorDash, BetterHelp, and Rosetta Stone for sponsoring today's episode. Get jiggy with it. Do you know that song from Will Smith? Yeah, I've heard it once. In What's my life. up, everybody? <laughs> Welcome to the Train <laughs> Pod. Today, the guys and Rainy are figuring out their lunch orders, but we are in the parking lot outside of a bowling alley. Who's going to be the best bowler? I don't even know if we have time for a full game, but we <laughs> definitely are all going to bowl at least once and perhaps have some of that classic bowling nacho. Oh, yeah, it's it's strange that bowling serves finger food. It is a really <laughs> inconvenient. Right? It should right? be specifically be fork stuff. <laughs> That's a really good point. Because like you're putting your fingers in these little holes. Yeah, with the friends and strangers, <laughs> and then you're walking over and putting your little dirty fingers on some chicken strip or there, something. It, there's no finger food at an orgy, I'm guessing. I actually think there is because Kelsey was talking about it. What did she say? Oh. She said that there's a lot of snacks and little bevies, but people aren't even drinking the bevies because they're busy. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized <laughs> what's that? Last week I never finished my Jonas Brothers story. The stunning <laughs> conclusion of the Jonas Brothers story is happening all right now. <laughs> well, no, if, if you're not, if you don't want it earnestly, no, I do want. No, it, I actually want to really know how Nick about Jonas how... smelled. I want to know how Joe Jonas stank, and I want to know how. Kevin... Last week on the tripod, we got coffee. <laughs> we got Moldovan treats. We considered going to Moldova <laughs> University, and Zach told a scintillating story of meeting the Jonas Brothers. Great the word. conclusion of which will happen right now. So I'm backstage <laughs> about to meet the brothers Jonas. Yeah. Uh, as Keith and I were talking about, when you're, this was about 30 minutes before they were about to go on. The last thing that you want to do is, to, is talk to anybody. Yeah. Especially people you don't know. This is the first night, opening night of their big stadium show. I mean, they're playing Yankee Stadium. It was mm -hmm. a huge show. It was a and great the show, game was also happening at the same time, right? <laughs> the same time. So they're <laughs> they're fighting for comp. They're competing for attention. <laughs> so me and twenty influencers are like herded like cats backstage. <laughs> at this point, I'm like, I I don't want to. I don't want to meet them. I am embarrassed. I I I don't. This is not a context that I want to be. Doing this, you were like, embarrassed. Unpack that. Well, I just like I don't need to meet them that badly. You like, were paid to be there, though. I wasn't paid. I was I with was, uh, Jonas. I was funded to yeah. be there. Did yeah, they get your hotel too? Expenses <laughs> covered, yeah. but no money. I mean, it's a free Joe Not Bro bad. concert, free flight, free freaking everything. Yeah. I actually yeah. also had a free Joe Bro concert because I answered a little poll for a radio show and they gave me free tickets. Well, oh, Serenity's the just like you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you meet them in a herd of 20 other people? Oh, no, honey. I got, like, rock seats, like, nice. back yeah. to back. Very nice. Yeah, so fine. they, I see them walking down the wing, and I notice them first. And I happen to be, because you know me, I, like, I went and I found myself a little fold-up chair. So I was sitting away from the group. Yeah. So I was closest to them. So now they're walking up, and the brothers Jonas are walking towards me. <gasps> oh, my God. And I stand, and everyone suddenly is just standing in a line. And I'm first. And oh my no God. way! And Kevin comes up. He waves. Joe comes up, or like gives a salute. And Joe puts his hand out to shake my hand. Wow. So I stand, and I just shake. And at that moment, like, here's the thing: we've met them. Yeah, I yeah. Filmed, I know. you've worked stuff with them. I've yeah. filmed yeah. videos with them. I don't think that they remember no. me. But there's certainly <laughs> things that I can say uh -huh. of like, "Hey, we've done this or that, or remember this." What it like? Met mm -hmm. them a couple times. Instead, I just go. So sorry, you have to be doing this right now. Because oh. <laughs> oh, you apologize, oh. Zachary. Oh. Hey, so sorry you got to meet me. And, and sorry he, about me. And, oh. and to their credit, <laughs> consummate professionals. He just goes, "It's cool, man," and it was totally <laughs> fine and happy. And then everyone immediately like. Whoosh, like folds it on them, swarms them, and they just start doing photos and videos. And so I'm like, yeah. okay, collect myself. Yeah. I just was like, get in, get my photo, get out. Don't say anything. Don't do anything. Because yeah. I've been in meet and greets before, like where people are coming to meet me. Like you I don't want them to linger. <laughs> no, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just like, I, I, I have heard everything that I'm thinking about saying. I know that like, they just want to do their fucking show. Yeah. This is a, a, a bump, a speed bump. Hey, love Jumanji. Great. <laughs> yeah.
So it was I uh, I didn't do great, and then I looked and I saw some of the other things that like some of the other TikTokers had done. I'm like, oh, they really made the use of their one second. Oh, they were like, what's yeah. your favorite Spider-Man? One person was like, hey, what? Apparently, she just does Wordles every day, and then she was like, what Wordle word should I start with? She should have been like, what should I try next? What should I? <laughs> what should I put in my mouth, and then I go and do it. <sighs> so well, that, uh, so we'll I met the Jones Brothers. The concert was great, and I made a fool of myself. You didn't make a fool of yourself. I feel like I did. I think you did the right thing. I'm um, just stunned that the guy who can like offer cookies to a random stranger is also nervous in front of Joe Jonas of yeah. all things. I mean, I mean, Joe Jonas, Jonas is, is a ten. <laughs> <laughs> a short king is to say the least. I mean, Sophie. Sophie. Isn't that Nick? Who's dating Sophie? Joe? Joe. 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 I was thinking about Nick. They have two children. <laughs> Nick is the short king. Nick is a is a quiet, quiet man mm -hmm. in person. Really? You filmed mm -hmm. with him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was nice. He's super nice, but he just like, I think he just wants to play that music. Joe's a little weirdo. Yeah. He's, He's a, a freak. Weirdo. I never met Kevin. He mm -hmm. seems like a little sugar boy. Sweet, sugar sweet boy. guy. He seems like a sugar, right? Isn't he a sugar? Yeah. Is he known as being like a little sweet. sugar? All right, let's get bowling because the guys have a phone call. <laughs> Let's get bowling. Let's get bowling. All right, we're here at the bowling alley. Ooh. The bow, the ba the alley is not ready yet, so we're just chilling. Another it, day, another Moldovan oh treat. No. Am I right, fam? Oh God, <laughs> are we gonna have to eat another Moldovan treat? I, it's probably the secret to a good bowling game. <laughs> have you ever tried having a Moldovan treat before bowling? I haven't, but I probably should. To be honest, yeah. yeah. Did you love them? Yeah. <laughs> you really like these? Yeah. <laughs> See, I kind of felt like they were a flavor that was not to die for. It was novel, but it wasn't good. It and was very cabinet. Yeah. yeah. And I'll also say that just the aftertaste was so vile to me. Well, I didn't think it was vile, but it wasn't preferred. It was like sort of a leather yeah. type of aftertaste, uh -huh. if I may. Yeah. Well, we went bowling as a company, and Will Whitwer taught me how to bowl. <laughs> he taught, <laughs> taught you how to you. bowl? Yeah, he gave me some... Pointers, and then Michelle was like, "Why don't you just actually get the bumpers up? You'll have more fun." And I wasn't. I was a little insulted. So I know she meant well. Wait, sorry, did, sorry, did somebody suggest that you <laughs> had to use bumpers? Yeah. Have you really never bowled before you went bowling with us as a company? No, no, I of course have. What but were I'm the hot like tips that you got? Um, you have to like go all the way back, <laughs> right? And then like it's like a um zoom. It's, it's like a, a swing. Zoom, it's yeah. a pendulum. Like a it's a pendulum. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. I mean, I'll say that um, I'm not a good bowler, and I kind of realized that I'm not the type. Of, there's two different guys. I don't know if you know this. There's two different types of bowlers. Yeah. There's chuckers two? and fuckers. <laughs> okay, and I'm definitely a fucker. What do you mean by that? There's people that throw it really, really hard, and I'm not good enough or no, strong I'm enough. I'm not strong enough either. To do that so hard that I'm, yeah. like, good at doing it. But I am definitely good enough at slowly throwing the ball and with a little bit of control and a little bit of pizzazz, and that's going to be good at bowling for me. Oh, you're talking a big game right before we go in. Well, Keith's definitely going to be the best one. Are I you feel like, breaking a hundo? Oh, am I breaking a hundred? I'm breaking 400. How much is a perfect game? 300. Well, <laughs> probably I think I'll break a hundred, and that's about where I'm going to leave my limit. I would love, I mean, it would be <laughs> huge, absolutely gargantuan if I broke 150. I probably won't. I've only done that a few times, but breaking a hundred, I pretty much always do. <laughs> okay. 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 Pretty much always. And um, then Mr. Hogs over here. I actually think it makes a great podcast because <laughs> most of bowling is waiting. Yeah. I, it is. And yeah. that's why I thought it might be good because yeah. normally there's just going to be one person missing at a time. I underestimated <laughs> how much um, uh, sensory. It's pretty loud in here. Yeah. It's are, loud, it, yeah. I think it's unusual. I mean, we are at an uh, arcade, not it's really just a standard. This is like a Dave & Buster's, but the yeah. type of games is a little different. It's a lot. There's a lot more rhythm games, like Japanese rhythm games and claw machines. Yeah. Those are the dominant things. And then there's still skee-ball, some hoops. Yeah. There's something about bowling that, and I don't know if you guys had this experience, when I was a young boy, uh, we would go to a bowling alley because there's not much to do when you're a child. Yeah. And there's a lot of like, oh, I'm going to be super good at bowling. And then there's like sort of like teen flirting that happens at a bowling alley. Whoa. Teen flirting. Also, there's like, uh, by the way, all of the lanes are busy. We're waiting waiting for a lane right now. <laughs> it's because it's cheaper per hour. Uh, it's it's 11 o'clock on a Wednesday. Yeah. And the bowling alley is slammed. Liddy. Yeah. People it's the last week partying. of summer for some of these kids. Really? Good. Good riddance. Oh, God. Zach. 
I mean, Jesus. good, because we want him to get back to school and get to learning. Well, that's right. <laughs> we love science and we love STEM. We all went to school. <laughs> Today we're doing a game that uses math. Bowling. Oh, I guess oh. it is about angles it's, and velocity. And the scorekeeping is very dumb. Oh! Oh! It's fucking time. Let's, oh, let's fucking go. Let's go, go. Dude. get our we'll shoes. I'll meet you at the link. Bring, okay, I'll bring the Moldovan treats. All right, Zach's okay. going to eat the Moldovan treats. We will see you at the shoes. Welcome to the bowling alley. We rented socks. We rented shoes. We're ready for a game. Dua Lipa's playing in the background. We've got Corn Buddy, Raindrop, Imperfect Person, and Cleeth. All right, I'm going to start us off. All right, Zach is coming up. He's choosing which ball. I love bowling. And uh, I'm really excited to be doing this for the podcast today. That What's is a gutter ball for with Zach. Bowling? Are you like you grew up playing? Uh, I I know I didn't. I but <laughs> I had a bowling alley 30 minutes away from my house, and so every so often I I got oh, to go. Oh, 30 minutes? Yeah, it was far. How was it? How close was the nearest Rainy, like, town? Up. Oh, okay. Here goes Rainy. She's barely <laughs> holding onto the ball, <laughs> just barely. And, and she is going to get a cutter <laughs> ball, cut too. As well. I really don't feel like she's picking the best <laughs> ball for her. Just the Oh, oh that was... Wow, hey, all right, Rainy. All right, Rainy. And those are the first pins on the board. And Rainy is currently in the lead with seven pins. Wow. And now it's Miles' turn, so I will go I for him. seven? That's a spare wow. for the imperfect person bowl. Wow, Zach. So I'm going to go ahead and change the names, and that's me now. Holy shit, that was impressive. Zach is literally changing the name so that he got the spare and Miles got zero. Uh, Keith is going way. for the spare. Keith is going for the spare. And he, oh, wow. You see that cocky bastard? He turned away before it even hit the pin. Now, Miles, uh, wow. welcome back. I finally got my socks. Bad news, Miles. You did uh, strike out the first time. Oh. You rolled the gutter ball. You rolled two gutter balls back to back. I'm going to sort of hit all strikes, yeah. yeah. and I'm excited to kind of win. Because, I would love for you to win. You know what I mean? My mentality going into the game is that I'm going to play hard and all I'm right, going to play often. More shoesing. <laughs> I, 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 do you want me to go find you an extra large hand? Because you have an even bigger hand than me. I've got a big hand. And you know and what you they got, say about big hands? Big rings. You got fat fingers. <laughs> okay, hang on. i got to tie my bowling shoes. Did you know that when I was a kid, I actually walked into a bowling alley with bad shoes, swapped them, and walked out with the bowling shoes? And those are my shoes for a while because I thought it would be cool. And that is you were really cool. Right. Yeah, and it was cool. The problem is bowling shoes have no traction. Yeah, that's sort of the whole idea. So I did slip on the ice at winter time, and I did fall on my ass in front of everyone at the freaking <laughs> stairs. These were your winter shoes. <laughs> hey, oh. Advice boy, get up there! Get up there! A swift move right and. Into the I, I gotta Woo! tell you, when I suggested bowling, right I into the gutter, did think other people could bowl. Perfect, Ada wow. Rooney. Wow! Really good, really Very good. Very nice. Very nice, Miles. Right, pretty decent. I mean, I feel like I went pretty good. Now, one thing I did not expect was for the balls to be so damn greasy. Yeah, that, little, that, you love the, grease because the lanes are oiled. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's why when you rainy, roll oh, it, rainy is hitting an absolute uh, stunner. I'm wondering if the winner of the round of the whole thing gets maybe a has whole, to gets a whole thing of Moldovan a cookies. A whole bag of fe We're fe bowling for Moldovas. <laughs> Franzaluda and Moldovas. While we're here, you know, I yeah. just want to talk about Wednesday 11:30 crowd bowling. So of course yeah. we have the children on summer yeah. break. Well, that far that far bowling table no, uh, were fans. Yeah. Oh, the guys. Okay, well one of them's wearing a shirt that says Sex Wax. <laughs> Sex wax? <laughs> Sex wax. That's, That's funny. Uh, and I don't know what it is, and I am curious. Real eclectic mix here, you know? You got the casual bowlers, you got the sex waxers, you got the the. I wish this amateurs. place opened at 8 a.m. and we could all do a bowl before work. Oh, that's so funny. That's our new workout. To come to, to bowl, like, it's sort of like I've been doing cold plunges like three times a week recently, and I found that it really actually has helped, like, my anxiety and general mood. When I work out, which is not often right now, but yeah. I love in the summer working out and finishing even a warm shower with a cold shower. Yes. That finishing moment, it does calm me down. No, it yeah. does. It's a whole thing about like your vagus nerve. Your vagus nerve. Vagus nerve. The vagus I'm nerve. <laughs> no, make the joke. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Makes you want to gamble. Ain't no gamble struck my vagus nerve. By the way, do, you know those animations that are kind of like yeah, por where, porny? Where are the nice cleanup. 
I feel like we're not getting the fun. We like, don't have animations, but it does have fun facts on the bottom, such as a wombat is a spare that is picked up after the first rolling a gutter ball. Ah, that's, that's when you clear them all after you've missed them all. I feel like there is a thing of um, like w I'm wondering why we're not getting the horny animations of the bowling pin, like fucking two other. So bowling you think pins? there should be like a Hooters bowling alley? I think it's like Hooters, but it's a bowling alley. Oh, yeah, Zach did a very Zach. embarrassing thing just there. He got on his hands and knees and pushed the ball into the gutter. He now, almost did what he wanted. Yeah, no, by the way, Zach, you bordered on doing, like, a grandma style, which always embarrassed me when I'd be, like, at a bowling birthday party and be and somebody be like, I'm going to do grandma style. What's it's grandma just as style? good. It's where you hold it between your legs and you, you kind of... Huh, 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 why is that you, called grandma style? I don't know. It's just because it doesn't require the arm strength of one arm to be so powerful that you can oh. get it down. But I'm a sniper. I'm grabbing a <laughs> one-pound ball and hucking it as hard as I can. And by the way, yeah. The grease is throwing me every time. I my hands yeah. couldn't be greasier. I also have a tiny little off. cut right here, and oh, I'm worried fingy. about. But I've been using these two fingers, so it should be fine. I shouldn't be getting germs in there. I'm sure you are. Yeah, yeah you definitely are. <laughs> I'll what, do neosporin What happened to after. your fingy? I have no idea. I cannot remember. I'm in, I'm in last place, and I just want to say that to everyone out there who doesn't believe in themselves, you know what? <laughs> it, it actually whatever, right? What's your be best bowling memory other than stealing the shoes? I remember I was at a birthday party, and I believe I got some really good flirting done in middle school. I'd come over and I'd rub elbows with the hottest girl in sixth grade. I get it, man. Bowling's inherently sexy. You got the balls. Of course. The, the gutter. Holes, yeah, you, you, the, the way that finger. I'm horny and you're horny is different. Hey, you know that essay that you definitely started weeks before the deadline and not the night before it was due? And then maybe it was your essay, maybe it was a project at work. Well, maybe some late night snacks would help and DoorDash can help you get the snacks and energy drinks you need to get through that all-nighter. Get the back-to-school savings you really want and get unlimited free DoorDash delivery with Dash Pass. Just $4.99 a month for students. How worth it? Uh, so worth it. With $0 delivery fees, exclusive items, and more than 25,000 members only offers nationwide dash pass by doordash has everything you need to make this semester memorable and you can save even more with an annual membership less than 50 dollars a year for unlimited zero dollar delivery fees for a limited time you'll get 50 percent off up to ten dollars on your next order of 15 bucks or more when you sign up for the dash pass student plan and enter code try btc you know back to school you get it that's 50 50% off up to $10 on your next order of $15 or more when you sign up for the Dash Pass student plan and you enter code TRYBTC. Don't forget! That's code TRYBTC for 50% off when you sign up for the Dash Pass student plan. Subject to change, terms apply. This episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. I am uncertain all the time. Uh, you know, look, I'm in charge of a whole company here. I'm trying to steer us in the right direction. It's a lot of stress. I want to make sure that I'm doing right by people. I want to make sure I'm doing right by myself, making sure I'm doing right by you, the fans. But as far as emotions go, I need someone in my corner, someone that I can bounce my feelings off of. And that is why therapy is so unbelievably important. You know, you have all these relationships in your life that you nourish. What about nourishing your relationship with your Yourself. I use BetterHelp once a week. It is so easy to fit it into my schedule because it is flexible. I can do it from anywhere in the world, from the comfort of my own home. They make scheduling super easy on an app. I can send my therapist messages over the app and they'll give me timely and thoughtful text responses. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. You just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash tripod today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash tripod. Rainy, the cut, by the way, on your finger, I'm a little worried about tetanus from the inside of the holes. No, well, that's what we were just talking about when you yeah. left. Yeah. Yeah. And I just found out about tetanus. You just oh, found out about it. Was it on the podcast or was you it yesterday? You just found. <laughs> Let's go. Zach just fucking got a big one. Wow. Well, it's 29 and Rainy has 26, so I am now beating Rainy. Wait, that's how old you are.
are, and that's how old I am. Wait, that's funny, actually. That's cool. Guys! <laughs> so here's the thing that you don't know, Miles, is yeah. that when we started the game, I was actually player one and you were player three. Oh, yeah. And we switched. So, um... If that is heinous. <laughs> well, the first one was a warm-up. Well, I, so was mine. <laughs> that was my account. And then when I got a spare, I was like, well, can't waste that. I'm going to get Cron Diddle banned from the game, <laughs> from, the, from the player one, from whatever this place is called. Oh, Keith's got it. And that's a Sparoonie. That's literally oh, a Sparoonie, dude. Oh, a Sparoot. Now, did you guys know that Camel's Milk does not curdle? <laughs> I did not know Camel's Milk doesn't curdle. Yeah. What happens to it? Uh -huh. It doesn't spoil? Have you eaten it? No. Is it because they're in the desert? Uh -huh. oh, and it's, it's always hot? The like, the milk is just hot in their back all the time? For good reason. That's a strike. That's two strikes for you. Oh, I don't know if I can catch up to him. I want to thank my mom, <laughs> and I want to thank every one of you guys out there who's helped me get a strike, because honestly, seeing Keith domi dom dominate nice. has made me want to dominate. Thank you. So <laughs> All right, uh, now, Miles has officially pulled into second place, uh, but again, as a reminder, that was my player, so that means I'm in second place. Keith has officially broke 100. Yeah, I heard what Zach did, Keith, and <laughs> yeah. as, in, as a sort of bowling, the, like bowling is like honor to you. Yeah. How did it I, feel to watch him I think fumble you're right, so hard? And I, I just want to go ahead and before you even answer, I apologize. It was wrong of me to do. I'm going to undo what I did. No, you can't, <laughs> <laughs> you can't take it back. I'm going to undo no, no, it. No, no. Rainy, Rainy did a Rainy slow did a roll. Slowest, strike. The That's slowest strike. strike. The That's slowest strike, strike I've ever Rainy. seen. Ah! That was so incredible. It was Rainy like in just, slow motion. It was so slow. It was like we slowed down the footage. And then Rainy's <laughs> gleeful cheer after she got it was incredible. It was that beautiful. Was first strike of the day. That was, that was great. And I was worried because you were catching up to me. Uh, well, at this point, I'm ahead of you. <laughs> 39, yeah, but, 36. But, but she oh. gets the next two balls. You only get the next one ball added to that frame. Okay, well, I have to step up my game. She's <laughs> poised to overpass you, but however, <laughs> it might not happen. Because the last person has to eat all of the freaking full Franza Lucy's yes. or whatever. And, and, like, all of them in your mouth <laughs> oh at once. Oh, my God. The last three, other than me, everyone has gotten a strike except for me in the last bowl. What you do you think this. that's about? Do you think it's a skill thing? I think it's, <laughs> yeah, I think it's a skill thing. Rainy, um... Coming into that last frame, zero, and zero, zero, zero. and you're all zeroed out. And you yeah. know what? I'm 36, and that's the, your current total. And that's what you're trying to do, right? You had 26, Wait, you had 29. See. I'm 36. You gotta get these glasses oh, yeah, Rainy, on. Rainy is putting her, Rainy is putting on her sunglasses because she again cannot see with. That's probably glasses. why the bowling is tough. Wait, of course. <laughs> Rainy, can you see the pins? Well, I mean, I know where they are. <laughs> oh my God. Rainy, you have to wear the sunglasses for the next frame. Okay, I'll try it with the sunglasses and see if it helps. You're going to get an absolute perfect 10 if you wear the sunnies. I keep being so close to a spare, and it's infuriating. The way that Keith's bowling is not the way, like, I don't know edible, but I'm looking at his body language. I mean, he's standing tall. <laughs> he sort of looks at it like he's a hunter throwing a javelin. Yeah. Watch his legs. Okay, let's watch him. Let's watch, watch his close. legs. The legs, and he's going to go. He oh, he's starting from down. far back, by the way. He's, oh, he walks a couple steps. Wait, he said, that oh my was gosh. interesting. It was he's like a tiger. <laughs> That's like a tiger walking a little bit close Woo! towards the target. That was really good, Keith. I'm inspired to do it just like you. You were literally being a tiger hunting prowling. your prey. I was prowling. Yeah. Miles is in shame. Oh, he is shit. down on the ground. And now can he recover can from he recover such a humiliation? Doing it regular? Yes, that's what oh, we want. That was a lot of strength off. on that ball. Woo! You strong-armed that sucker. I put all my ball strength into that one. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> because I got nervous that... Doing what I did previously was not going to yield any results. Yeah. Keith, you're a finesse player, and I think that I'm sort of a wild boar. Yeah, well, I only finesse on the second ball. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was wondering. I was like, no, no, Miles, no. The first ball is a power play. It's, yeah. The first ball, I'm, I'm trying to hit them all down. And yeah. when I don't, I'm like, okay, what's the best strategy to get what's left? Hey, that's just bad luck, Rainy. <laughs> but you look so much cooler. Rainy's wearing her sunglasses now, and I think and, it's improved her well, gameplay. she did do a lot better. <laughs> I was on my way to maybe break 100, but with that gutter gutter, I don't know that I'll be able, ever, 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 able to recover. Gutter gutter ever, gutter 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 recover. It says Crondiddle has a chance to win. How could that be true? There is something about a, um, a bowling alley at 11 in a mall where people do not care if you're recording at all. No, literally, no I, I thought we would, would at least run into some flack. Yeah. We've received no flack <laughs> since entering the facility. It has been smooth sailing. Now, everyone, we have entered the final frame of oh. bowling. This is the 10th frame. Yeah. Now, everybody knows that you actually, if you get a strike, you get to go again. Or oh, if you really? get a spare. 
And this is your chance to break 100. All right, here we go. I, I got to break 100. <laughs> My mentality going into it is um, big, and I want to say that if I don't do it, I'm going to um, poison myself. Hundy Bundy Grundy. Cool. I will say that he, he actually did it with only nine frames because he didn't get to bowl his first one. Well, we don't know that. Miles goes for the wrong ball. He shakes it off. Miles breathes. He recollects himself. He goes down. The arm pendulum swing. It's a perfect ball. Oh! It is not a wombat. Huh? And that Miles will end with great. 96, Boy. which is the same age as uh, my grandfather when he was 96. Now, uh, Rainey, <laughs> you have a chance here to get three strikes and beat Miles. That's I am right. devastated. By the way, if Rainey does that, I'll be impressed and proud. If you get a turkey right now, I will buy you a whole turkey from the grocery store. That is a great gift. Yeah. <laughs> Rainey is biding her time. And, oh, she went for it. Oh. Rainey sort of went with the, what if I had a, a, a duffel bag and I threw it kind of approach. It sort of it left her fingers a little bit like a curl. Oh, Rainey's she's, a she's, go. she's not even a That wait. one is, has yes, got some Rainey, steak yes, on it. Rainey, you see yes, that? Rainey. Rainy, that was great. And Rainy Toll will end with a 50. Zach is about to show us what a turkey really means. <laughs> really tastes like. He's going, he's pointing, right, he's, he's pointing. shooting, he's doing he's a big showing move us, here. Yep, he's, he's showing he's us where his home run will be. Now, oh, he's, yeah. he, I'm worried he's going to drop the ball like a basketball once very, again. Very, very concerned. He's going to drop it on his head. Very concerned, right? The greasy ball, Zach's a little guy. It would kill him. It would or it would at least hurt and hospitalize oh, okay. him. Okay, Zach. Oh, whoa. Oh, 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 oh. That's some backspin That's some on Zach that. some Zach backskin right there. Some Zach skin. Zach, oh, how are you feeling coming off that? Zach, it says, nice try. That's your company. They know you. I ended nice with an 80. Try. I would have preferred a 69. And be funny. I would have preferred beating Miles. Um, yeah, Keith is going to, of course, dominate. And I am late for my work call. Yeah. And, and, I, and I know that we didn't expect to keep you, but I am glad that you moved an important work call to bowl with us on a Wednesday morning. Yeah, it was a thing where if I were on the call, I would have been thinking, what if? What if I had done better bowling? What if I had broken a hundo? Oh my god, while oh. we were talking, Keith got a spare. That means we get a bonus pin. Oh, like and all Keith of has us? officially crossed 150. Woo! He is, that is where huge. he needed to be. Ever, ladies and gentlemen, you're witnessing history here. Keith is going for his final bowl. Keith, if you bowl a strike right now, we're gonna we're gonna smother you in hugs. We're gonna smother you in hugs, buddy. Here we go. And no. Okay, that was close, so Keith. Uh, Keith ends with 159. That's huge for me. I've only uh, broken 150 a few times in my life. Really? So wow. this is a really big moment. Big uh, game. And one of the last times I did it was here at this bowling alley. I think this is my spot. I want to thank my mom. I want to thank Dr. Pepper. I want to thank uh, uh, Zach. And I want to thank my dad and all my friends, Miles, oh, yeah, Rainey, man. Hell the whole second try team. Yeah. Yeah. And round one bowling, your choice for bowling in Burbank. Quick note from Rainey, just a little context for this next part. We didn't start recording until we were in the Starbucks parking lot and realized it wasn't a drive through so now we have to figure out who to send in to get our little bevies. We're done We're done bowling, and obviously we have to gas ourselves up. We got to go inside. We all know the way we have to go inside. <laughs> Where I think are we, we have to go? We have to send a messenger. We're going to mm -hmm. rock, paper, scissors if we should go. Yeah. I'm happy to go, but I think that we should, we all have our different stakes in the matter. Are we doing a four-way rock, paper, scissors? Yeah, no one person Probably will work. obviously lose. Okay. Okay. I've got a strategy. Right. You rock, hold your own paper, mic. Okay. Hold on. And okay. what's your strategy going in? No, I'm not telling well, you. I usually start with rock. Okay, well, now I have to do <laughs> ch chess. And just to be clear, <laughs> to it's chess. rock, paper, scissor, shoot on shoot. <laughs> yeah, and just to be clear to the audio listener, we're done bowling. We're in different clothes now. Don't worry about Don't, it. It's normal. That's it's normal. normal. You've bowled before. You get so sweaty. We have to change. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissor, shoot. shoot. Wait, what? Oh, okay. me and Rainy made it to the next round. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, go. Right go ahead to find out who wins and gets to go get coffee. <laughs> no, <laughs> now you losers. No way. Wait. Oh, we didn't. I thought it was the winner. I, I thought, thought the whole time it was the winner. Okay, so Keith, for those watching, for those listening at home, Rainy and I chose paper. <laughs> these fucking loser dorks. There's no Is way you can chosen send me in there. Scissors? I've been absent for so long. I'm going long. in, baby. Here, Keith. Here, Keith. Watch this. Wait, what? Where have you been? I guarantee that I'm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do rock. Okay. I won't do anything but rock. 
All you have to do is do paper. Okay. And this you're going to win. Intense. Okay. Here we go, Keith. Rock, Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. shoot. Okay, I was just testing you real quick. No, come on. <laughs> they <laughs> both. Me. I had to tie just to be sure. God damn it. They but both did Rock. Yeah. Miles <laughs> swore to him on his life. And Keith still did Rock. Yeah, which did he swear on his life? I guess was the only <laughs> surefire way to not lose. Because if you if he was telling the truth... <laughs> Then you had to do paper. But if he was bluffing, yeah. then he knew you were doing paper. Mm-hmm. So the only thing you could have done. It was the safest choice. It was the safest choice, but it was a choice that guaranteed that nothing happened. That's right. Sometimes Here we go. That's what happens. That's on the this prisoner's show. dilemma. <laughs> it is sort of the prisoner's <laughs> dilemma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Miles, I'm going to take it. Wait, did you guys fucking see this? <gasps> Did you guys see? Oh, wait. I also have a big pop culture moment, so I'm curious what yours is. No way. I'm ready, I'm ready to ask Rainy her opinions on a different pop culture moment <gasps> that I bet she could weigh in on. Ooh. Uh-huh. We've got a big like episode. We've got a huge episode. We have a to-do list. And it's only half an episode because we just finished bowling and it was a blast. <laughs> Starbucks officially listed their own Cha-cha. I have seen this. Oh, yeah. I what? have seen this, they and I think made we have no a choice. chai latte with matcha powder. Mm. A cha-cha. That's a fucking cha-cha. That's ours. Yeah. Wow. And I mm-hmm. will accept residuals. Now, the oh, question yep. is, if I order a cha-cha confidently, mm-hmm. will uh, they or give it, or are they going to be like, do you mean the cha-cha with hold from? Ooh, ooh. Can you get the cha-cha yeah. with the oil in it and call it a cha-cha slide? Oh my God. <laughs> By the way, we did get a cha cha slide last. A really? We got a, we got the cha cha with the oil. But we didn't oil. we didn't call it that. I wish we didn't we call it cha cha slide. That's Keith original. <laughs> cha cha slide. That's, That's really good because it really makes you shit your pants. Yes. <laughs> it absolutely will. Every time I've had the oil shit, it really makes me have to go to the bathroom. Um, immediately. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Keith. Yeah. We have to still. Okay. So, <laughs> so are are you, I'm time. gonna do scissors. Okay. Keith, remember, I've got to do scissors. There's, I'm not doing anything <laughs> so, with scissors. Okay. Okay. Rock, no, paper, paper, scissors, this. shoot. Okay. okay it worked, I it lost, okay. everyone. <laughs> wow. Okay. So Miles did what he said he was going to okay. do. Okay. Well, first of all, I'm, I don't write things down because I'm a perfect server. Keith, yeah. what do you want? Come on. Arnold Palmer. <laughs> Okay, he's getting an Arnold Plummer with, with black tea. Arnold Plummer, black tea. Yep. Commit it to memory. Perfect. <laughs> Rainy. I'm d- I'm sold on the hot cha cha. Hot cha cha. Arnold Plummer, black tea. Do you not want a cha cha slide? Oat, with oat. With oat. Okay, that it was. Now my no memory's having trouble. No for me. Okay. No, no. Rainy is gonna have the hot cha cha with <laughs> oat. Dave <laughs> is having the Arnold Plummer black. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, yes, yes. I will do an ice cha-cha, and I don't want to slide, but I want you to tell everyone in this car that you got me a cha-cha slide, yeah. and I'll pretend I got a cha-cha slide, but I really don't want this Jack's slide. I don't. <laughs> I'm like, I'll get the cha-cha slide. Yeah. Wink. But you just want an iced, iced? Oat cha-cha. Iced oat cha-cha? Slide. Hot oat cha-cha. Hold the slide. Arnold Pl- I'm not doing the slide thing. Because <laughs> at this point, you're just doing a ruse. I don't even know. For I want who. you to get me a cha-cha slide. Hold the slide. <laughs> <laughs> okay, interesting. Cha-cha slide, but the lifeguard's like, hey, don't go down yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're, there's still people in the slide. Don't go down yet. By the way, what's those guys do? Okay, I'll go inside. Okay, that's a great topic, getting? though. I've never thought about that, Keith. <laughs> You know what I'll get? No one's ever Ooh. asked me before. Iced cha-cha seems to be, and this is, by the way, hey, summer menu, right? Get a cha-cha. Oh, this yeah. This is the special new mm-hmm. one. So we have to- <laughs> I don't need a cha-cha. It's the afternoon, but I just, it's so funny. Okay, you know what? Scrabbling order. Oh. I want a cha-cha <laughs> okay. slide. Okay. <laughs> cha-cha slide. I want a cha-cha slide. Okay, you know what, Miles? I also want the slide. <laughs> no way. Okay, I want with oat milk. Iced? No, mine's got to be hot. Hot cha-cha slide. Iced, iced cha-cha, cha-cha slide. slide. Both oat? Wait. He that's gonna be doing <laughs> no, I want to. No, I want to. Okay, so Zach keeps doing this sort of. No milk, not to me. ruin my stomach. Oh. <laughs> so just the powder. So just the powder. Okay, Zach's having <laughs> what appears to be an a ice cha cha without so, no, oh, olive oil. No, no, no. I want a cha cha slide. We no. Okay. <laughs> I want a cha cha slide. 
<laughs> and keep the thumbs up for the audio. Normal, listeners. normal, uh, normal, okay. normal. Cha-cha vibes. slide with oat. Yes. Okay. Cha-cha slide with oat. Why do people listen to this stupid <laughs> fucking show? <laughs> By the way, they're gonna be like they bulged for ten minutes and then debated their coffee order. For, which, by the way, didn't we start this episode of fucking coffee? Yeah. I can't even remember. That was no, years no, ago. No way. Oh no, we didn't. We didn't. No, we, we didn't. Never. We're clear. We're we started clear. with that the Moldova treats, which we still have in this car. No. Really? They got no, put, they're no, in the... They they're, got put in the staff office. Yeah. No, because we just finished... Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing weird is going on, everybody. Okay, Keith, obviously, mm. ice cha-cha slide. Oh, hot! <laughs> hot. <laughs> Keith, hot, cha-cha slide. Oh, yep. Zach, ice, ice cha-cha, cha-cha slide. slide. Wink. Wink. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Rainy... You can Holy do it. Holy shit, it's going to be the hot cha-cha no slide. Oat. 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 <laughs> Everybody's getting oat. That helps my brain. Everyone's oat. Oh, good job. Everyone's cha-cha. <laughs> Keith's getting a slide. How big? The largest one they offer? No. no. Train top? Always grande. <laughs> what a grande I think is good. Okay. Ariana, we and always I think it. I've got to get a nice cha-cha. Ooh. It's a cha-cha all around. It's cha-cha. Unanimous cha-cha. And oat because you hold my memory. Cha-cha now, y'all. <laughs> Okay, I'm going in. Turn it out. Slide it out. Yeah, what do we do while he's gone? I don't know. He's kind of the mutual friend for all of us. Well, I I think I think that Rainy, what I I did want to ask you, and I don't think it matters that Miles is missing this. You're on TikTok. In a big way. What do you think about Bama Rush Talk? That scares me, but I am mesmerized. For those who don't know, such as myself. Bama Rush Talk is the TikTok trend of all the girls rushing Alabama uh, University College, whatever one. I don't one. know. Soror- some, some big school. In- all the sororities yeah. of, of Bama. Yeah. Alabama University yeah. or University of Alabama. I can't yeah. remember which one it is. It, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's the big football one. And they mm-hmm. are... It's weird because the rules are like you have to make little videos, but you can't also become really big. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't know that they had to keep it under a threshold. It's not good to get really big on TikTok. Oh, my god! Because I think they don't want them to become too popular to want to be in the sorority anymore. I've just, I'm on the fringe. I've seen only a few videos. Yeah. I've more seen what, people what are talking these about it. I'm surprised it's, you're not on. I thought they were. It's a girl being yeah. like, hey, y'all, today I'm rushing this thing. I'm wearing my shirt is from mm-hmm. Dillard's. <laughs> my pants are from Dillard's. This jewelry's from Abercrombie. Mm-hmm. This hat is from here. My purse is from this spot. Yep. My shoes are from here. And it's all outfit of the day yeah. stuff. And then they're saying, and today I'm going to rush to this mixer hosted by Beta, Beta Tau Omega. Mm-hmm. So is the yeah. idea that people in the sororities with the decision-making power are just doing TikTok recruiting and watching these to see who they want? So I think they're doing the normal <laughs> recruiting, but I think they put it on TikTok as a way to get natural marketing for mm-hmm. the sororities themselves. Yeah, and then to they make also... make the sororities cooler because yeah. they have popular TikToks trending about their sorority at their yep. school. So it's like, hey, our sorority has had, you know, 46 million TikTok views. Yeah. Wow. In all total, the social like you know? social influencers are coming to this. But are you also on the ones where they're all doing dances in a giant group yes, like hundreds? Yes. Also the uh everyone doing a trending dance thing together or they made their own trending dance and there's really only 3 of them that can dance and then there's 40 of them cheering behind them with balloons. <laughs> Where did you go? Where are you off to? No um, one needs to know. And they're they're sort of like there was that one a long time ago that I think started this trend where the, the girl's like, we're from this thing. Welcome to our family. And then there's mm-hmm. like 30,000 girls screaming <laughs> and it's sort of like the gates of hell. Yeah. Um, do you like it? Like, how do you feel oh, about I it? I love when it comes those. Up? Those are the most yeah. fun because they're <laughs> they're funny and sometimes they're aware and sometimes they're not aware mm-hmm. that it's funny. Yeah. And, and Rainy, this began, I made Keith explain a lot of it, but it began with what's your take on it? So your are take? you enjoying it? Are you scared of it? Are you envious? I mean, I cannot look away, but oh, Chai I... Chai Chai's Russia sorority would be really fucking oh. good. Oh my god! Oh my God, I would love that. That's if like, there's that's any sororities viral. out there that would like to have Keith and I rush your sorority, <laughs> let, us know. let us know. Let us know. I don't know. I, I mean, what's your... Isn't... it's What's your strategy? I feel like... 
like the TV shows I've seen, it's like, okay, well, I'm going to befriend this person because I love this person. I'm going to undermine this person. Are you going to have something like that? They undermine. They undermine each other? Yeah. Because they, you know, there's only so many spots for so many people. I Shit. think. Well, yeah, there are a certain amount of st- spots. And you have to become someone's little. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're your big, which is, I think, sister, right? That's little yeah. sister, big sister. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because they're little sisters. Big. Um, um, your big you is like your frats? champion. Oh, no, certainly not. I, yeah. I didn't look, at <laughs> <laughs> look at us. Look at what we are and what we've done. No. I mean, isn't Emerson, there's some like filmmaking frat. No, I don't if, I don't think so. I think at, so at Emerson, there was, I, to my knowledge, one frat and two or three sororities. And it, we had like an anti-conformity um, uh, type oh, of school, right? Right, 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 So right. so much so that everyone conformed to the anti-conformity. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. But um but you mean know. the traditional conformity, that was very lame. Super fucking lame. Right. And right. fraternities are traditional conformity. They were yeah. So they just our frats were not cool and they were not the center of our social scene. Yeah. And they did have a house and the baseball team had a house and we would all go and trash their houses. Ooh, I mean the baseball Whoa. like a sports I mean, you're not, house right. yeah. intentionally, but there was like um I never went to a single frat party at Illinois Really? State. I know there were some. I also never went to, I don't think the sorties hosted parties. I never went to any of them because it was just not where I was going to go. But yeah. I did go to the band house and the, I think, I don't know if it was, it was like, it was like it was the lacrosse house. I'm almost oh, certain we house? didn't have yeah. a lacrosse team. <laughs> <laughs> I never saw this team. I've never heard anything about the team, but I feel like somebody called it the lacrosse house. And they had great parties. But it wasn't yeah. a frat, but it was some old house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, everyone was trashing it. It was a party. Have you, you been know. there in the day, by the way? No, they're gross. A very dark Yes, place. I mean, even just your apartment by the end of the year is pretty nasty during oh. the day. No, wait, yeah. tell me, we had <laughs> three topics. We've gone to two. Mm-hmm. Yep. And what was the third? But I, I've got one, but I gotta wait for Miles. He's gonna. Oh. <laughs> but yeah. but I th- so I st- I just got caught up re- literally this morning, and there was apparently a girl who was like everyone's champion of Bama Rush talk because she wasn't the she was just like an average girl, oh. <laughs> and she also she kind of did wait. irreverent comedy. Maybe it was Becca or something. I don't remember her name or Morgan. Um, Wait, are there like all of these characters? Does anyone have like a uh, like a fantasy football, like a fantasy bachelor? I oh my god! There is. Yeah, wow. That's and, funny. And you know, some of them are very like southern debutante girls. That, mm-hmm. they're, they're mostly southern southern debutante girls, I would say. Um, but then there's there's these other girls that are kind of like not covered in glitter candy, right? They're just like girls who are like, well, like, I'm wearing this shirt. I think it's from Target. Um, where, and it's like very funny and everyone was championing her, but she uh, got turned down by every single sorority oh. at the college. Oh, I didn't see her. Uh, I if, wasn't well, if page. you're listening, maybe Becca, we'd like to invite oh, you to, to our Try Guys sorority. Mm. And oh, yeah. you hit the us sis- up. The sisterhood of guys. <laughs> <laughs> the sisterhood of Second Try LLC. Wait, is there like, is there what, it Gamma? What's the U? Omega. U- Omega Yalpha? <laughs> I'm trying to think of G U Y as Greek letters. I would like to. Oh, Try 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 Guy almost sounds like one. Like Try Delt? Oh, yeah. Try Guy. <laughs> I would like to rush a sorority. I feel like doing debutante training it would also be interesting. I don't understand Cotillion, and I don't know how the two are the same or different. Mm. Did you guys go to Cotillion? Will Whitworth did. He just told us this Stop week. Stop it. No. I know. What, Wait, how yeah, would, talking who did he go with? No, you just have to... Cotillion? Yeah. Well, Cotillion is like this, like, you just learn manners, and you learn how to dance with people. Uh, for some reason, I thought it was just dancing. I didn't realize it was a manners school. I mean, I think the dancing is the really exciting part because that's where you like get to dance I'd, with your crush. I like to learn manners. <laughs> I yeah, I don't have. To. I did anyone ever in your family yell at you for putting elbows on the table? Not for long. <laughs> 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 they give out there like that's not our battle. I was a third kid. They're like, Ugh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, just I, eat it. As long as you eat the food and you don't kill yourself, I think we're succeeding as parents at this point. I mean, here's a here's a helpful hint: when you're putting silverware out, it's alphabetical. Fork, knife, spoon. Stop it. Mm-hmm. Oh. I think. Could be Helpful. wrong. Yeah, and you put the knife with the blade into the plate. And then you put your hands out and you curl your thumbs in and it's B for bread and D for drink. That's right. And that's how you know which cup is yours and which with little pleasures. bread is yours. Wow. <coughs> yeah. Wow. That's one of the most useful things I've ever learned. And then the smaller the utensil, the further away it is from your plate, but the first 
the earlier you use it. I learned that from Titanic. Yeah, Titanic. That that wasn't a sorority, right? It's about. Oh, it's it kind of was though. I feel like it was yeah, that it class. Was, right? Yeah, I'm so sleepy. I only had my. I only had one tea this morning. Just one. I had How two much? coffees. I, I normally one. by this point I'm on to my third or fourth. Whoa! But well, I restate. So you're going through. You're going through withdrawal. Yeah. How much sleep do you get? Not enough. And I'm in. I'm like, and I'll say a nine to ten hours person. Oh, easily. I would love, and I was so embarrassed that. For a while, I was like, oh, like it's cool to get seven hours of sleep. No. What time are you getting into the bed? So I recently started to get really into early, like within the last two nights, like 6 10 30. 10 30. I actually was like, this is a game changer. No, that's, that's yeah. I, I go to sleep. I try to go to sleep at nine. <laughs> really? <laughs> if I can. Wow. But normally it's 10. 10, 10 30 is typical, typical sleep time. My yeah. goal is to always be asleep by midnight, but mm-hmm. some nights I'm a little naughty boy. <gasps> You're naughty boy. I know because the hours between midnight and one are really. It pretty makes it fun. sound like I'm doing something cool. You're I'm playing Zelda. Naughty boy, yeah. <laughs> oh, You're still playing Zelda? Yeah, it's, it's a fun. long game. It's, it's a long, long game. game. <laughs> and I and I keep having these big gaps. I'm gonna be hopping some islands in Greece coming up, and imagine how cool I would be if I could order in Greek. I need Rosetta Stone. Rosetta Stone, of course, is the most trusted language learning program available on desktop or as an app, and it truly immerses you in the language you want to learn. They've been the trusted expert for 30 years with millions of users and 25 languages offered. This is fast language acquisition, as they would say in Spanish, muy rápido. Rosetta Stone immerses you in many ways. This isn't just translations. You're gonna really learn to speak, listen, and think in the language. I'm always trying to brush up on my Spanish. I got Rosetta Stone, and it had me talking muy bien. Don't put off learning that language. There's no better time than right now to get started. For a very limited time, our listeners can get Rosetta Stone's lifetime membership for 40% off. That's $179 for unlimited access to 25 language courses for the rest of your life. Redeem your 40% off at rosettastone.com slash tryguys today. Hey, he's back. All right, Miles is back. Miles, you did it. Well, what happened to the doozy? Oh, that looks beautiful, by the way. Oh, no. Okay, what so, happened? Oh, boy. What the I just want to go bro? through the orders. I just want to make sure that I got I them all right. I smell coffee. Mm, None of these should so be coffee. Good. Well, why is so that? Good. It might be Miles smelling Oh, the cha cha is brown because it's literally. Try. Try. With a matcha coffee. It's co- literally a half and half. So their version of the cha cha is chai with a matcha cold foam on the top. Mm. Not mixed to fruition. Now, I want to ask you, Miles, and this is important. Here we go. Is cold foam oat-based or is it dairy-based? It should be oat. And if it's not, sorry. <laughs> what is <laughs> matcha? <laughs> what is they matcha? knew it was going to be oat, so they had to. There's yeah. no way that Starbucks isn't prepared for an oat cold foam. What is yeah. matcha foam? It means that they had a cold, they had a foam, and before they foamed it, they had a machine, and they did matcha powder in the machine before they made it into the so foam. Wait, it's no, so it's normally a mocha base, did you say? No, no, no. I thought you said mocha somewhere in there. No, I just I want you to know that we're giving you <laughs> no benefit of a doubt as you come in. We're coming, Also, we're I had to use my own card, so I'm going to have to be reimbursed because <laughs> I forgot my company one. Uh-oh. And that's going to be on giving the receipt to Devin. That's going to be so something you have the, to do. It's beautiful, the top half being green and, and the bottom half, but it's not practical at all. Well, I think that you're going to be able to, because of the different types of volume metrics, Rainy, mm-hmm. drink Wait. the foam through, drink the oh, chai through. It. It's got like it. a little straw. Yeah. Now, I have to check to see one of these is going to be oily for Keith. <laughs> Here's the thing. I obviously don't actually want a hot drink, but when you get the olive oil drinks, it kind of has to be hot. <laughs> Because okay, so otherwise got, it's congeals. We've got a chai tea here with matcha cold foam with oat. Rainy style. Rainy style. Yum, thank you. Now, this one is going to have to be Keith, and we're just going to hope that they remembered. Here we go. Let's check the Guys, thing. I'm sorry to say, I, I need to go in and ask them. I don't trust this. You don't trust this? <laughs> go ask no, them. I think cold foam is... Uh-oh. Is now, I am cream. also worried that w- one of these is going to have mystery oleato oh, in it. shit. Because it's not listed. Open it up. Ice cream on top. Would you I'm going to go ask. You're going to go ask? I have to ask. Would you be willing to have the hot one? It tastes like a banana split. Does it not have foam? No, it certainly does. I just wanted the ice. This All tastes, right. Yeah. <laughs> this tastes like a banana split. It does? Taste it. I'm going to have a sip. 
Somehow ours, I think, is better than theirs. I think the cold foam is like a little. I actually really enjoy this. Okay. Really good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Never mind. I actually th- agree. And by the way, Keith, what is banana about this? You don't get banana. No, I do. I don't. I'm right. Saying, I'm curious. No, yeah. <laughs> it tastes like a banana split. It, this is banana I think split. It's cause he, I think it's because Zach is right. It does taste like ice cream. <laughs> it's most certainly <laughs> ice cream, by the way. And it, uh, you know what? It, the green makes me think of pistachio. It makes me think mm-hmm. of a classic Neapolitan or almost vibe. <laughs> There's no way that's not that's an oat. By the way, the cold oh, no. tastes like, this doesn't taste like oh. a milkshake. Yeah. It's so good. It's kind of incredible, though. I'm really enjoying this um, Starbucks variation. Slide. I think you get less matcha. Mm. I mean, that's going to happen. But that's gonna that's to be expected. That's to be expected from this type of thing. <laughs> okay. So I waited, actually, for my pop culture moment for you. Because oh, I think yes. that you're one of the, you know, I'm you're actually the target. I'm hearing gone, seeing if he's going to shit his pants. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Pop Crave says... Addison Rae wears statement piece in new photo shoot for Vogue. Yes. And it's a long black dress uh-huh. that says two plus two equals three. God, <laughs> I couldn't be more proud of my girl. And I got to be honest, I do like she is becoming Ugh. this icon in the community. Uh, really? No, truly. Keith, she has an album that people are saying is good. Yeah. I know they're saying it's good. I don't even know. I've listened to some tracks. Okay. What about that one that's like, no, 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 no. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's exactly what really you mean. It's really fun. Oh, it's like, it's hot, hot. How do I like do to you? Hot. Yeah. I've only heard the <laughs> one. I've, heard I've it. only heard the one where she talks about, like, because I like me too or something. Mm-hmm. It's like, uh, 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 you're obsessed too, yeah. with me too. I'm obsessed with me too. I think that song is bad. Uh oh. And I'm sorry to all the stands out <laughs> Uh-oh, there. Uh oh, here we go, Keith. Uh, I I'm, I'm just think it's not a good song. He's canceled. And I, I hate. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I hate that it's like it's very like I'm in love with me e e e e e too. I'm like ugh, yeah, ugh. not a, you know, and, and it's, you know what I'll say? It's more about the energy that she's giving than the she's music. She's got great energy. I, I saw the little energy. clip. I saw the little clip, mm-hmm. and I thought that she was do, putting on a good performance. Yeah, but I thought that the song was. Uh, Bad and and I'll I'll, I'll, I'll I'll tee you one up right here. I don't think I think that she's Paris Hiltonifying. Hilt- oh yeah, Hiltonifying herself. Yeah, two plus two equals three. That's like that's, in the world. Of, that's possible. She's yeah. sort of what she's doing is she's like I'm a pop star, whatever. She's about to be in a horror movie with Patrick mm-hmm. Dempsey, directed mm-hmm. by Eli Roth. It's like a grindhouse horror movie. She's doing what I wanted her to do yeah. after she's all that. And the reason she's in the grind, grindhouse movie is because she signed a contract with Netflix that said, Yeah, here I'm gonna comes. do a bunch of them. What's the news? Attempted murder. No way! Attempted murder on the podcast. <laughs> you saw... P- silence. You saw on this podcast, my dear friend, Miles Jameson Bonson Gore came way. into this car and tried to feed me milk, claiming it was oat. It's Although, we, hang we, on, we, though. we also all determined this is definitely not oat milk that we're drinking. Yeah, no, it's heavy cream. Yeah, we. <laughs> but I also, <laughs> it's I'll, delicious. I'll be clear, though, why would they put heavy cream on an oat? The, yeah. I asked, the, I asked the barista, and there was just like a dumbfounded look as to like, well, of course the foam is milk, and I'm like, oh, well, but it's an oat. Can I just get? I basically I I had to explain what a cha cha was, and I think what happened. <laughs> Zach mansplained a cha cha to a Starbucks barista. <laughs> and I think what happened is that now that Starbucks has tried to commodify cha cha yeah. on their own, now they have a recipe for it, and it's fucking up our game. Right. Yeah, that's a disappointing. I'll say the least. The classic cha cha. You have to do <laughs> half chai, half matcha, shaken. Yeah, this is no uh, foam. so when you brought in a coffee, like a gallon of ice cream. Oh my gosh, so when you brought so in the coffee, rich. did you say, "Take it back now, y'all"? Oh, <laughs> Keith, you're on fire. By the way, Keith, you never commented on the oil. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I, I guess I would need to try one without oil to know the difference. It tastes good. It tastes savory. It, I mean, no, it tastes very, very, very sweet. It's the drink. Like, really sweet. The drink yeah. tastes like ice cream, and we have <laughs> basically confirmed it is all the parts of ice cream. Just not as iced as ice cream. But it's it's cream on ice. Now, we're months into plogging. I'm surprised that we <laughs> haven't found, like, a cute little coffee shop, and instead we're really yeah. simping for a national chain here. And maybe we should change that. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. Well, let's get the thumb real quick. Let's get the thumb. <laughs> That's not gonna make any sense. <laughs> Try guys go bowling. <laughs> it does with the fucking matcha cold foam. 
We're Holding gonna... and Josh lost the lights. Oh my god, I feel really a, a little ill after yeah. it's kind of sipping on that. It's so sweet, it's, it's so curdling good, it's, in my stomach. It's too late. Yeah. I already had like three strong swigs before I like, it, so it's too late. Mm-hmm. I might as well <laughs> take it all the way up. Keith has increasingly <laughs> decided that his lactose intolerance be damned. Be damned. He, he used to kind of be, you know, <sighs> hand in hand with me, and he would take his dairy pill, and he would try and avoid it. The other day, I went over to his house, and, he's, and I'm like, hey, do you want me to pick you up lunch? He's like, nah, I'm getting a cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> well, a cheeseburger doesn't have that much cheese on it. <laughs> <laughs> and you always said that. Well, let's- American cheese is barely <laughs> cheese, guys. <laughs> it doesn't have that much lactose in it. Now it's time for some advice that'll go for miles with your advice captain, Miles Montignore. Mm. Advice that'll go for miles is on strike this week <laughs> because of the SAG after shit. Actually, mm-hmm. also I couldn't think of a really good one. And so I want everyone to read a book. Wait. That, well, that's advice. Well, SAG. I mean, just yeah. kidding. AFTRA. Um, yeah, really. strike, it's on strike this week. But I mean, I you're, you guys. are you a writer or an actor, by the way? Am I a writer or an actor? Well, obviously, I'm a triple threat. I mean, you're Writing, a hyphen. Acting, it. singing. Whoa, Addison Ray, watch out! <laughs> if I could do a fucking feature in an Addison Ray song, Keith, that would make me. <laughs> Everyone, I actually think that's true. That would be. I bet she's like also five foot or something. Four foot nine. That's honestly, you know, like that. What's that thing? It's like uh, <laughs> dating Drew. Uh, my date with Drew, where the whole do- it's a documentary about a guy trying to get a date with Drew Barrymore. I want to do a documentary about me trying to get featured on an Addison Rae <laughs> song. Miles, you should do just on TikTok like day thirty four of trying to get featured on Addison's new album, <laughs> and you just duet her go, songs. By the way, I'm a singer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, you did train as a dancer. I well, that's a really good point, Randy, and I'm mm-hmm. glad you brought that up. But I'm trained modern, but I do jazz. <laughs> Would you be mad if when we get back to the office, I made no, day 34 you, you of trying to you get, and then that. I go supervise? I will post this clip everywhere. Well, because it was kind, of, but I think the clip will show that it was my idea. It's a really good point. This clip is property no, of Zach Kornfeld. Is, you know, because he did say it, but it's more of a brand. It's more a brand aligned with me. Um, right. Is it though? I'll buy it from you. A million dollars for the TikTok. <laughs> you gotta give it to me. I need it. I want it. <laughs> well, that's about enough. Well, thanks everybody for tuning into the bowling episode. We hope you had a great time. We hope you're at home. Uh, Cha cha sliding all around. We hope this episode bowled you over. Strike. One hop this time. Is that why you said you're on strike? Because in bowling. Um, Biggest retcon of the episode? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Have you heard that Young Gear- Gravy thing? That's like, I, you before, were wondering. Let me stop you there. <laughs> no, I have not. Yeah. <laughs> There's this lyric that's like, wonder why he don't get no misses. And on TikTok, he's like, a lot of you have been asking, is it misses like MRS or misses like not wins? And that's a double entendre, baby. It's See you guys next week. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> have a good ass week. Have a good week.